Next question, sir. Abdi. So why don't you believe in gravity? Well, uh, do you so, start? Yeah. So first of all, we don't like it's like me asking you, well, why don't you believe in my unicorn? First, I'd need to prove the unicorn exists. Well, gravity's never actually been isolated or directly manipulated or proven. We have we know why things fall down. We know why a helium balloon floats. It's not an anti-gravity device. It's just less dense than air. And a rock is more dense than air. We have an electrostatic gradient discharging to the earth constantly, creating a small downward bias. And then the force of density supersedes that to determine directionality in the medium. So if I drop a rock in water, it's going to fall through the water. If I drop uh, or throw an apple in the water, it's less dense than the water, it's going to float. And if I let go of a helium balloon, it flows through the air. If I drop a rock, it goes down. So it's just seeking, seeking of equilibrium relative to the medium. And I'll take it one step farther. It's, um, you know, that makes perfect sense, buoyancy and density. Uh, but the question is, why do things go down? When I, when I take this and I drop it, why doesn't it go sideways? You know, so here's just a thought experiment. Can't ever happen. I've got this uh, thing that's heavier than the air. I snap my fingers and the entire earth is gone. Now there's nothing. If I let it go, which way is it going to go? That's a great question. Is it going to go anywhere? Because what is making it go down? We live in an electrostatic world. Every single thing from air, food, you, rocks, everything, plants have an electrostatic charge. The earth has a negative charge to a testable, measurable, um, scientifically provable. And the sky has a positive charge. 